everyone and welcome back to Ash Loves Cash. In today's video, we're going to show you how to set up an automation workflow in Go High Level. Automations can save you a ton of time keeping your processes running smoothly. Let's dive in. Firstly, log in to your Go High Level account and navigate to your dashboard. From here, what you want to do is head over to the animation section. You can find it on the left-hand side menu. So, so the automation section is right here. Once you're in automation section, you'll see a list of any existing workflows. <laughs> to create a new workflow, click on the blue, then click start from... So what you want to do is click on create workflow and then press start from scratch. This will open up the workflow builder. So let's so let's start by giving it giving our workflow a name. So I'm going to, to name my workflow Ash Loves Cash. For example, Ash Loves Cash. There we go. This will help us identify it later on. Next, we'll set up a trigger. By to set up a to add a new trigger, press on this plus button and then you can search for trigger. A trigger is an event that starts the workflow. Click on add trigger button like, like we already did and choose the type of trigger you want. For example, for this example, let's use form submitted. So for example, I'm gonna use form submitted right here, form submitted. Now you'll need to select the the sophistic form that will trigger this workflow choose the form from the drop down menu and click save trigger so right here this is the drop down menu and for example what i'm gonna do is choose content created and then and then and then after that press save trigger great now that we have our trigger set up, let's add some actions. Click click on the add action button. So for example, what you want to do is click on this plus button right here. You can you can choose from a variety of actions like sending an email, adding a tag, or updating a contact. For this example, let's send welcome email. So so if you're going to do a welcome email, type in email send email and and right here and and for instance you might want to just you you might want to add a delay before the next action or you can send a follow-up message to keep building your workflow until it meets your needs so so before we move on what you want to do is is name your form name is going to be named ash and then what i'm going to do is for from email and from name so this is from name ash and from email and also i'm going to blur my email so right here this is my email Once you set up all your actions, wait. So, so before we we do that, you can you can add a subject. For example, I'm going to do a welcome subject, and then you can right here you can add templates. Well, well I'm not going to do that. And then you can leave a message, and then you can say hi, and then and then right here. So what you want to do is click on custom values. And then you can click on, on one of the, the values right here. I'm going to click on contact. And, and then you can choose from right here. There, 
there's so many op options you can choose, which is full name, first name, last name, email, phone number, phone number, but in a raw format, company name, full address, address one, city, state, country, postal code, time zone, date of birth, source, website, ID, and custom fields. But for example, I'm going to use... I'm gonna use um name so so if you type in your email it'll say hi your name and then and then I'm gonna type in welcome welcome to Ash Loves Cash. Once you set up all your actions, click save action to to activate it. Your workflow will now will now run automatically whenever the trigger event occurs. And that's it. You have successfully set up an automation workflow and go high level. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more go high level tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.